Venting cyber attacks, in a way, is a Don Quixote type uh, escapade because you, you will have cyber attacks. They are going to happen. What you need to do is prevent the impact or minimize the impact those attacks can have on your environment. Many of my cl clients, both within the service and outside the service when I do consulting work, ask me how I'm going to reduce the odds of being attacked. And I tell them, well, that's as reasonable as asking me how I'm going to keep you from being mugged out in the street if you go to a bad part of town. It's all about being aware and being ready to respond to the environment around you and being resilient against a possible attack. So the key thing to do is, number one, is know what you're trying to defend. So know what your assets are, where the information is you're, that's valuable to the organization, where is it stored? Is it on database servers? Is it on PCs? Is it on laptops? Is it in the cloud? Where is that information? How important is that information to you and your business? Uh, and once you've identified that, well then identify what are the risks against those that, that information. How could that information be compromised? Would it, could it be a careless user leaving it on a, a laptop on a train? Could it be an external hacker breaking into your system through a, a vulnerability on your web server? Could it be uh, a virus coming through on your, uh, your network? So wh where those vulnerabilities are and, uh, and what, the, what risks they pose against that data. If you turn all your tools on as if you're protecting everything, you're going to get a lot of false alarms, you're going to get a lot of false positives, your team's going to get numb because they can't follow up on everything. But if instead you get very focused on the most critical assets and you start tuning the technology to be very focused on the risk associated with protecting those assets, then you're going to have a better chance of actually seeing that you've been hacked sooner and be able to actually detect and deflect and defend against those attacks. So I like to think about the, the three-legged stool of compromise, and there are three legs. There's value, threat, and vulnerability. Um, value is something that your business has. Uh, that's how you run a business, by providing some value that you monetize in some way. But that also is what creates threat, because an external attacker wants to compromise that value in some way. Um, and and uh, then vulnerability, that's the mechanism by which the attacker uh, uh, exercises the threat to compromise that value. So the problem many companies that I've come across have at the moment is that they don't see information security as a business problem. They see it as an IT security problem and therefore it's the job for the IT manager to look after. And the IT manager, while he may be doing the best job he can do, is not a business person. They, they may not understand, well, this piece of information is very important because of X, Y, and Z. There may be business reasons behind it rather than, if you like, technical reasons. And very often when you have technical problems, IT security people look for technical solutions. I think a good starting place is that, that very sort of common sense idea that you can't protect what you don't know about. If you don't understand what's in your environment, and if you don't understand as a C so how your business generates, creates value, and how that value is monetized, that's the place you need to start. Uh, because you'll find that you're probably spending money on things that, that aren't actually effective at protecting the value of your business if you don't understand what that, that business value is. And if you don't understand what's your environment, then you're leaving uh, you know, attack surface open and probably vulnerabilities open for exploit um, just because you don't know that those, those assets are out there. You know, it just can't be a technical problem. I think that's a, the key issue a lot of organizations have is that they focus on uh, this uh, information security is an IT problem, therefore it's a technical problem, therefore we can go and buy a box of Blinky likes to fix it. That's not going to be the case. Business leaders are always about risk and risk mitigation. If you if you have a discussion with them at the high level, you can kind of find out what's the tolerance level and probably save a lot of time and effort that you're trying to do. Also be an area of where they're concerned with focusing on. It could be intellectual property. It could be their cloud environment they're standing up. It could be mobile. It could be any of these things. And you want to really address the issues that the business is impacting. Because once you address those issues, you can generate metrics to show, hey, we were here, and now we've moved over here. And you can actually show a due diligence process to say, here's where we were, and here's where we actually moved. So you end up with budget and other things that go along with that. Last year, I, I spoke at the Black Cat Executive Summit about BYOD. And there, there were a lot of people saying that devi the devices themselves were the source of risk. No, it's a, it's a computer. It's how you manage it. So the way that businesses can manage risk is to understand what does this risk mean? How is that, why are we taking this risk? What kind of revenue are we generating from taking that risk? And once you decide, yes, the risk is worth taking, we're making money here, how do we mitigate the odds of the loss? 
and how are we resilient against the eventual attack? Because you will be attacked. You will get mugged at some point if you keep walking the streets. But if you're prepared, you only carry so much money, it doesn't matter.